Antiarrhythmic Agent, Wikipedia Article Audio Antiarrhythmic agents, also known as cardiac dysrhythmia medications, are a group of pharmaceuticals that are used to suppress abnormal rhythms of the heart, such as atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricular tachycardia, and ventricular fibrillation. Many attempts have been made to classify antiarrhythmic agents. The problem arises from the fact that many of the antiarrhythmic agents have multiple modes of action, making any classification imprecise. Von Williams Classification Class I Agents The Von Williams classification was introduced in 1970 by Miles Von Williams. Miles was the tutor for pharmacology at Hertford College. Oxford, one of his students, Brahma N. Singh, contributed to the development of the classification system, and had a subsequent eminent career in the United States, the system is therefore sometimes known as the Singh Von Williams classification. The five main classes in the Von Williams classification of antiarrhythmic agents are With regards to management of atrial fibrillation, Classes I and III are used in rhythm control as medical cardioversion agents, while classes II and IV are used as rate control agents. Sotolol is also a beta blocker. Amiodarone has class III mostly, but also I, II, and IV activity. Class II agents The class I antiarrhythmic agents interfere with the sodium channel. Class I agents are grouped by what effect they have on the NA and channel, and what effect they have on cardiac action potentials. Class I agents are called membrane stabilizing agents. The stabilizing word is used to describe the decrease of excitogenicity of the plasma membrane which is brought about by these agents. Class III agents Class I agents are divided into three groups based upon their effect on the length of the action potential. Class IA Class IB Class IV agents Class IC Class V-slash-other agents Class II agents are conventional beta blockers. They act by blocking the effects of catecholamines at the beta-1 adrenergic receptors, thereby decreasing sympathetic activity on the heart. These agents are particularly useful in the treatment of supraventricular tachycardias. They decrease conduction through the AV node. History Class II agents include atenolol, esmolol, propranolol, and metaprolol. Class III agents predominantly block the potassium channels, thereby prolonging repolarization. Since these agents do not affect the sodium channel, conduction velocity is not decreased. The prolongation of the action potential duration and refractory period, combined with the maintenance of normal conduction velocity, prevent reentrant arrhythmias. The class III agents exhibit reverse use dependence, inhibiting potassium channels, slowing repolarization, results in slowed atrial ventricular myocyte repolarization. Class III agents have the potential to prolong the QT interval of the EKG, and may be proarrhythmic. Sicilian Gambit Classification Class III agents include Bretillium, amiodarone, ibutilide, sotolol, doftalide, vernicalant, and droned arone. Class IV agents are slow non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers. They decrease conduction through the AV node, and shorten phase II of the cardiac action potential. They thus reduce the contractility of the heart, so may be inappropriate in heart failure. However, in contrast to beta blockers, they allow the body to retain adrenergic control of heart rate and contractility. 
Class 4 agents include verapamil and diltiazem. Since the development of the original von Williams classification system, additional agents have been used that do not fit cleanly into categories I through 4. Agents include The initial classification system had four classes, although their definitions different from the modern classification. Those proposed in 1970 were Another approach known as the Sicilian Gambit, placed a greater approach on the underlying mechanism. Class I agents interfere with the sodium channel, Class II agents are anti-sympathetic nervous system agents. Most agents in this class are beta blockers, Class III agents affect potassium efflux, Class IV agents affect calcium channels and the AV node. Class V agents work by other or unknown mechanisms. It presents the drugs on two axes, instead of one, and is presented in tabular form. On the y-axis, each drug is listed, in roughly the Singh von Williams order. On the x-axis, the channels, receptors, pumps, and clinical effects are listed for each drug with the results listed in a grid. It is, therefore, not a true classification in that it does not aggregate drugs into categories. IA lengthens the action potential, IB shortens the action potential, IC does not significantly affect the action potential. Digoxin, which decreases conduction of electrical impulses through the AV node and increases vagal activity via its central action on the central nervous system, via indirect action, leads to an increase in acetylcholine production, stimulating M2 receptors on AV node leading to an overall decrease in speed of conduction. Adenosine is used intravenously for terminating supraventricular tachycardias, Magnesium sulfate, an antiarrhythmic drug, but only against very specific arrhythmias which has been used for torsades de points, trimagnesium dicitrate as powder or powder caps in pure condition, better bioavailability than ordinary MGO.